Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. All the footage on the screen was recorded when I streamed this game, which is X4 Foundations, last week. So to stop confusing things where you see my face and not my lips, I'm just going to cover that up with a big old square box. So just, there, there you go, there's the square box. Anyway, hey, how you doing? X4 Foundations is a game that gets mixed reviews on Steam, which is interesting to me. Mixed reviews, as I've said before, are wonderful because that means that some people like it, some people dislike it, which means it's interesting and it's not just another game doing the same thing endlessly because that's what games seem to do uh, so i like mixed reviews i'm always a fan of it um it is a game that is set in space it's about flying spaceships and exploring space stations and doing space things you know the kind of things you do in space games um it is priced at 39 pounds 99 which makes it an expensive space game now i was fortunate enough that the developer um supplied me with a key for this game um so yeah i i, I jumped on it because i'll be honest i've had it on my wish list for ages and i was like $39.99 is a pricey old space game. Um, so when the developer provided me with a key, um, I did decide to jump into it and give it a good old play. So I decided to stream it my first time, uh, and I have a few thoughts on it. Uh, now first off, the game supports HOTAS. It supports an X52 Pro, um, a Cytec X52 Pro. There's a profile for that game, for that controller. I have an X52, not the Pro. I plugged it in, I loaded the X52 Pro profile, which the difference between the Pro and the regular is like the placement of the buttons and the build quality, really. Um, however, I had very little luck getting my controller working. Um, my flight stick just wasn't doing anything useful. Now, the game is built so that a mouse and keyboard can operate it just fine, but I kind of wanted to use my HOTAS. At this time, I have no no joy with that that's just not happening for me um but it is a work in progress i'm not giving up on coming back to troubleshoot that later in the week probably um hopefully to do another stream in a week or so now x4 foundations is uh the well well it's not even the fourth game in the x series there's a bunch of games in the x series because each game like has like expansions and standalone expansions and different versions and it's quite confusing a little bit impenetrable impenetrable yeah, i'm just forgetting how to speak today um for people to jump into um so i decided to just jump in with x4 foundations it's the, it's the first in the x4 in the x4 series um it is the one that most people have told me is the most accessible um and generally it should be the the, the, the best one in the series because it's the newest one um now this game has a terrible tutorial uh, the tutorial of this game is basically you click do tutorial and you're like i want to do this and it shows you about a thing and then you do the thing and then it goes you're right you're done and then you can go back to the tutorial menu and go okay show me this thing uh, this does mean that you can run the tutorial at pretty much any time you can just hit h on the keyboard and just do the tutorial um and you can do whichever bite-sized chunks you want so i went through on my stream i spent about two hours streaming it i went through some tutorials i messed with my controller and i had a good old introduction to the game and that's what's important here is introduction to the game because this game it's obvious from the moment you load it up that this game is just vast i mean this is a big old game right um now it's a space game it's a game about flying spaceships as i've said so you probably already know what the game's going to be like it's going to go to places do missions which might be kill things might be run packages around might be running people around might be gaining intel all the things you expect from a space game you know these things have been around forever the genre is well established um yeah sandbox space sandbox simulation science fiction i think is the tag that uses on steam and uh it does all of these things really really well the only uh the only thing is figuring out how to do these things uh so in the two hours i played uh i did the, i did a few of the tutorials i flew around sort of trying to get a feel for it on the mouse which by the way the mouse controls are about the best i've seen in a game like this um because i tried playing elite dangerous on mouse and keyboard when it first came out and it was it was shite um but x4 like plays really like, it's really sensible like the mouse controls it feels like a smart way of doing things it feels like an intelligent way to structure things and that's really nice because i don't feel like i'd have to go out and buy it if i loved it like, i wouldn't have to go out and buy a flight stick i could quite easily play it on mouse and keyboard without any problem um it also supports uh, x like normal controllers like xbox controllers and stuff didn't try that i was just interested in that mouse and keyboard because it was great and then eventually i'd like to set up my hotas because of the immersion but uh the game is fun i mean it is you can get out your ship and look around and then you can you can you can jump in your ship and fly around and then you can get out your ship in space and space which is pretty cool and these are all things you do as part of the tutorial um the landing and docking in elite dangerous and this is the, the, you can't help but draw comparisons uh is something is very technical and difficult and it feels like 
It feels kind of like a fun chore. You know, like, it's definitely chorish, but in that kind of, like, satisfying, I'm a real space pilot way. In this game, you request docking, and it gets a big arrow showing you where to go, and you sort of turn your ship around, and you start lowering your ship, and you see a reticle in the distance, a holographic reticle. And you line your reticle up, and that's sort of where your ship should be pointing. And you lower it to the point where, it's on, where you level on the green line. Um, and then as you start lowering your ship, um, there's this little triangle underneath uh, at the bottom that shows you where you are in relation to the landing pad. And you just have to basically line up with the center and just drop your ship. Um, it is... <sighs> It satisfies all the same things that Elite Dangerous does, where you feel like you're, uh, you feel like you're landing your ship. You know, you feel like you're, you're doing it, not just like pushing a button. It's happening. It's not arcadey, but it does feel easier. It's not difficult to do. And Elite Dangerous, I know it's not difficult. And if, once you've done it a couple of times, Elite Dangerous, it's fine. Um, but it's still something that you have to, you have to like to go. Okay, I'm docking now. So sit straight in your chair and get ready to do it. Where this is like, it's quite like turn straight up land and it's like you feel like you're doing all the mechanics of it without any of the chore which i really like you can go to the you physically get out of your ship to go around uh to the to the bartering section to the store to buy things and sell things which i like because it gets you out of your ship and it gives you a sense of place which i really like now i've looked uh, across the forums and across the uh, the game it seems it's only space stations you explore not planets which is fine. I've got no problem with that. Um, and there seems to be enough variety in space station to keep, to, you know, in, in the actual space station to keep to keep you interested. It seems like there's lots of things going on. There's NPCs wandering around. Potentially, there's a lot of content there. I can't speak for this content because I've only been to one space station. Um, but it, it seems absolutely fine. Now, once I've gone through the tutorial bits I was interested in, I think I'll pick up more advanced stuff later. I felt kind of abandoned. And it was only when someone in chat says, hey, Hex, you should fly around the ship. Like, like do like, closely look at the space station from the outside. So I flew around the, the, I flew around the ship quite close. I thought it flew up and down the shaft of the station. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, eventually I did come across uh, an anomaly, like a little point on the map. And I went there, and I did indeed pick up a good starting mission. Now, I feel like the tutorial should have, like, made it very hard to miss that anomaly rather than me uh, anomaly point i suppose uh rather than me having to be told by someone in my chat but it's entirely possible i missed something because there's a huge amount to take in with this game so let's assume that was me not the game but this starting mission was uh was very was it's very well done there's a lot of dialogue there's a, a likable there's a likable person you interact with it seems to have personality that sort of gets you rolling with what's happening in the galaxy and setting up very um naturally talking about things that are happening but it, it sets the tone of the universe quite nicely like this guy's like being forced to work for a corporation and you know he doesn't really like it but at the same time you know what else is he gonna do with life you know it sets this lovely tone say lovely it sets, it sets the tone well um and then you follow him missions now this is where i had a minor criticism because i saw the waypoint i just happened to be looking in the direction of the point it wanted me to go to as part of this mission so i just flew over there i was like hey i'm here and uh, it turns out I had to use the long-range sensors. It was part of the tutorial, but because I'd already spotted the thing I had to go to originally, instead of just skipping that portion of the tutorial, I flew around it for five minutes trying to figure out why the tutorial, why, why the mission wasn't moving on. And I had to use long-range sensors to locate the thing I was sitting next to. Now, a few people said to me, well, you know, it's just scripted. But, you know, I was right fucking next to it. Maybe don't show me the waypoint until until I've used the long-range sensors. You know, I'll do something so I can't really miss it. Um... And once I'd done that, I then flew into another area of space, which was really cool, by the way. Really nicely done. I felt like there was a narrative going on. Uh, and then aliens destroyed me, and that was the end of my play. Um, <laughs> but apparently these aliens fly around, and they interact with things, and they're, they're often shooting at things. It seems to be the way it is in the game. I just feel like as the game is single player, and it knows I was doing this tutorial mission, it knows I've got an hour log, maybe it should have like not done that, you know? But I do like the fact there's real danger in this universe, and it's not just... It's not just a, a thing that happens around you. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's cool. It's, it's nice that it's not like you don't feel like the center of the universe. You feel like just a cog. You feel like you're just in the universe and everything's happening. Whereas a lot of the games happen around you. Like you're the center of the universe. So I did like that feel that I'm just the dude in space. It was pretty cool. I must admit, I was, I was happy with everything I saw, really. Um, the only thing to be aware of, though, is this game is really heavy going. Like, this is not an arcade game. This is not the sort of game you jump into. This is the kind of game you play a shit ton of, right? You just, you just play a shit ton of it. This is, it's built so that you play a shit ton of it, which I like. That's a compliment, not a criticism. But if you want to jump in and shoot stuff, go play Everspace. This is not the game for you. This is for someone who wants to fly around and, like, actually fly spaceships, not just zip around in a fighter type thing. Um, 
different audiences. That's not a criticism of maybe the play style, but this game is built for the simulation, and the other games are built for the arcadiness. Uh, yeah, but just make sure you're not, you know, you're not thinking you can jump in and just shoot it straight away because the controls just aren't really built for that dogfighter mentality. Maybe on a Hotas, it'd feel more like it is, but. Yeah, definitely not. Well, at least for me, not on a keyboard and mouse. Uh, the game has a lot more it didn't explore, though. It has base building, and it has different ships and ship modifications. There's lots of things it has that I didn't touch on. And I have a feeling I'd play it for another 50, 60 hours before I touch on everything. Um, maybe even more. Someone in chat, I think, said they got like 500 hours logged, and they're still learning stuff. And I was like, that's, that's fucking cool, that is. <laughs> I was genuinely like, that's, that's awesome. I'm, I, this, this is great, you know? Um... So the content is there. It looks beautiful. The native Linux client, native Linux version, runs perfectly. Like, I have no caveats. It loaded up, it run, it were great. There's no downside. It's entirely possible that my uh, my flight stick problems was related to the port, but I can't tell you either way until I test other things and find out where the problem lies with that. Um, but yeah, it... it you know that was not that was you know maybe i need to know more about flight sticks in linux before i just try and use it i don't know i've had this flight stick for years i used it way back when i was on windows and that's like the last time i used it so when i dusted it off and plugged it in it all worked but it just wasn't setting right at all which is fine anyway i'll say i'll fi i'll figure that out and i'll get back to you when i do figure it out may have been sc controller interfering who knows but uh, yeah i think i think this game given the fact that like it's a niche title aimed at a smaller audience um the higher price of 39.99 seems reasonable given who it's aiming at and as soon as i realized it was a hard like more hardline high sci-fi simulation i was like okay i can see why this is this is this is pricier because they're not going to sell that many so they need you know <laughs> It's like with it's like with like the model train simulator and stuff, the train simulators and stuff. Like the audience is smaller, so they have to charge more to make it worthwhile making the game, which seems backwards. But when you actually sort of think about supply and demand, you can kind of go, okay, I, I get why you have to charge more for that. Um, yeah, why, why Call of Duty is ten million pounds though is, is a mystery to me. But you know, in this case, I don't think it's entirely unreasonable. So I'd highly recommend it. I think it's fun. And even though I kind of had a bad time because I just got blown up by Xenons, I think it was. I got blown up by aliens and even though I didn't have a great time like, you know, I say I didn't have a great, I didn't have a great playthrough because things stopped me playing and I was still learning. I really I'm intrigued by it and I want to play more and will be playing more. It's kind of hooked me in. This odd universe. I want, I want to know what it is. My only real hope, and this is something I can't tell you till I've played more, is that I, I hope it's not a shallow experience. I hope that there's a lot of depth to this. There's a lot of characters and there's a lot of things to do in space because my fear is that once I leave this first zone, it's just going to be like, you know, buying and selling shit in space uh, without any real depth to it. Um, whereas Elite, you know, Elite Dangerous got that problem. It's a very shallow, it's a very wide but shallow experience. But the fact that it's multiplayer really makes up for that. Where this is... This, this is focused single player. Someone did tell me there's a multiplayer component where you can send your ship off to do stuff for other people. But honestly, I don't know if that's a fact or if that's just like a thing where you send off for other NPCs. I really don't know until I see more of it. And the uh, modular station design you can do looks fucking cool. I've, I've looked at some screenshots of that on the store page. It looks awesome. So yeah, highly recommended. Um, looking forward to playing more and having, being able to have a more full opinion about the game. But uh, early impressions are very positive. But as I said, make sure you're up for a simulation here. Make sure you know that you're getting into a deep science fiction simulation with spaceships. Not You're not running around shooting stuff. You know, this is very much that game i just want to stress that a lot because i think a lot of people might see this and be like yeah there's, there's the ship with guns in the screenshot so let's go shoot some shit not that at all um runs beautifully what are the minimum specs before i go i'll just check this, the requirements uh the linux version the minimum requirements are 64-bit os obviously an i5 uh, run at 3 gigahertz or amd equivalent 8 gig of ram and uh, an uh, gtx 780 or better or amd equivalent obviously and a 12 gig of available space um vulcan support is required for this he won't be running it on some of the uh, older intels i think the new intel support vulcan don't they have to, i must have learned more about the new intel stuff because that's an interesting topic to me um don't forget guys you can go and have a look at all the stuff i'm doing over on hexdsl.co.uk including my sausage project which is the whole thing to read not safe for work but read it before you click on it um it's a lot of fun to do and also if you've got this far in the video i'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button and if you'd like to hit subscribe you'll find more videos from me as we go uh, and you can also support me on patreon for early access to the occasional video thank you for watching i love you all very much and enjoy x4 because i think i am thanks for watching bye